number one, the split lines in your molds don't have to be a plane and they don't have to be straight. So one of the great advantages we have in 3D printing is we can easily create curves, uh, slanted surfaces, and it doesn't really cost us any more machine time or any more material than doing it with a straight line. So in this particular mold, if I would have done a straight split along the plane, this green line here, I would have missed the tail section and I wouldn't have had a working mold. So I simply drew a line across the area I want to split, make sure it was connecting out the center of the tail section and the center of the front section of this lure. Ended up being like a 0.6 degree rise there. Hit split, selected that line, and bingo. Good to go. Mold is perfect. Tip number two, this is part of a series I'm working on about doing hard lures in 3D printers that's taking me way, way longer than I thought it would. This is really, really hard, at least for me, to get these lures working correctly. But I came up with this technique when I needed to hollow out a certain part of a lure and leave the rest of it solid. And it kind of marries on with that split line not being straight. So here's a lure body I have. I want to make kind of the top of it hollow and the bottom of it solid, hoping to help it kind of float right um, in the water, kind of, you know, obviously belly down. So I simply draw a line that's going to split the lure into two sections, one that I want to be sol solid and one that I'm going to hollow out. Draw my line, split the lure. Next step is to use the shell command on the part of the lure that I want to be hollow. So you hit shell, hit the lure body part that you want to be hollow over here on this side that's going to select the whole thing, it's going to shell the whole thing. If you try to click on the individual piece, it will basically remove that surface that you clicked on and make like a, a cup, if you will. So once you select the part you want to hollow, you type in the number, you can see I'm doing an inside shell, which is going to take the outer surface and shell in. And you just kind of have to play around how thick you want that shell. Click that. And then we just use the combine command to throw these two things back together. And then bingo, you have part of your model shelled and part of it solid. Hope those two tips were helpful. All my lure making videos are here and hit this subscribe button when I finally figure out how to make these hard lures on 3D printers. Take care, tight lines.